Hey guys, it's XAP here, and welcome back to another video on Hypixel Skyblock. Today, we're going to be talking about how to get good enchants on your gear. So, I'm currently working on my enchants. I actually, there is a glitch um, that I found where when you hop on the, like, the slime portal things that transfer you to different places, sometimes it can take something out of your inventory and delete it or delete your entire inventory it's happened to one of my guild members got his entire inventory deleted and i lost a good sword that i'd been working on um so yeah that sucked but there's not really much you can do about it so there's going to be two different types of swords you're going to want to get there's going to be this here which is the undead sword and then you're going to want to get a cleaver now the undead sword is good for anything well undead so like skeletons zombies wither skeletons things like that that's what this is good for and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put smite on this sword by the way i lost this is the kind of sword i lost i had smite 5 and some other good enchantments on it so it really sucked but i have a, so now i have a blank one but yeah anyway you're going to want that and then you're also going to want a cleaver so on the cleaver that's what you're going to want to get sharpness on and they're and the cleaver is good for any other mobs besides undead things Oh, and by the way, you cannot have Sharpness and Smite both on the same sword, so that's why you're going to want to have two different swords. And the reason you want to use an Undead Sword for um, for Smite is because it already does extra damage to Undead things. So then, there's going to be multiple different ways to actually get the enchants. First of all, you could craft them, if I go to my recipe book, Enchanting Recipes. So, um... Yeah, the thing is with crafting them though, like you can craft them and some of them aren't that hard to make. Some of them are a little bit harder, some of them aren't as hard. But the problem with it is it's kind of hard to get all the book recipes. So, yeah. Another option you have is you can buy books and enchant them in an enchantment table. You can also buy um, enchanted books themselves from the librarian. So let me go, so let me go to the hub now. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So over here, this is the bank. Past the bank, you're going to find the librarian. So here at the librarian, the librarian sells a few different types of books here. And what you can do is you can buy a bunch of them. Like you can, like I have Prop 5 right now. I need to um, fix up my armor. It's not, it's kind of neglected, but um, I did put Prop 5 on my chest plate. And basically the way I did that was I bought 16 Prot 1 books from here. And I went back to my island and combined them with an anvil. And so then I was able to put um, Prot 5 on my chest plate. Another thing that's going to be necessary here is a lot of XP. So you can buy some XP bottles here. Or if you know the crafting recipe, or if like you have the craft crafting recipe unlocked, you can also make them. Um, that or you could just grind for XP. Uh, in the mines which is what I usually end up doing so I'm gonna buy a sharpness book here because I already have one at home and I'm gonna combine them to show you what I mean with this whole combining thing so uh, you go you open the anvil put the books together these are both sharpness one and you get sharpness two out of it and it cost me one level to combine them of course once you start doing more it's gonna add up but you get the point so your last option for um, getting enchanted books is actually just buying them off the auction house here. So you can go here to consumables and then there's a ton of books here. Usually what I like to do is go to what's ending soon. That way I can snag them last minute. Um, I just find good, I just try to find good deals. Like I bid on this one here. I'm the highest bidder right now. So, And then the very last way that you have them enchanting things is we're going to head back to the library here and I'm going to show you what you can do. So let me let me take this off real quick. So you can you can go to the library. He has an enchanting table, so you can actually just enchant things here. And it says it it tells you what it like guarantees at least. And then usually there'll be something else too, depending on the level, I guess. But um, yeah. And so you can just if you don't find see one you like, you can always keep retrying. Um, yeah. Also, you can um you can get your own enchantment table because the the enchantment table at the library doesn't go very high, but if you make your own enchantment table, you can get I'm um, you can get enchants. I'm pretty sure up to level sixty. Um, so yeah. So you see here for forty eight levels, I could get prop four, and it's gonna most likely give me some other enchants too. And then once you know what's on there, you can always add um, 
you can always add enchants depending on what else you want. And so then the last thing that is important for enchanting, I mentioned, I talked about a little bit earlier how you could um, make in or buy enchant bottles. You can also, and I also mentioned how you could grind them. I'm going to show you what I, what as far as I can tell, this is going to be the best way to grind XP. You're going to have to head over to the deep caverns. Okay, and then once you're over here at the deep caverns, you're going to head inside. And so you're going to head over to your lift operator and you're going to go to the lapis quarry. Unless you haven't been to the lapis quarry yet, then I recommend go watch my last video talking about um, quick start, how to get some good gear to start out. It involves being at the lapis quarry. So then once you're at the lapis quarry, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to go around uh, mining this lapis because the lapis gives you a fair amount of XP. And you can also kill the lapis zombies as well. Um, they'll give you a decent amount of XP as well. And even though sometimes there's a lot of people here, you'll get, um, you can sometimes get lucky and there'll be less people. So then you can just run around mining your lapis and killing the zombies. And I actually need to do some of this, um, grinding myself because I'm trying to get some more enchants. So, all right guys, it's the next day now. Um, I finished recording the video, um, the day previous to when I'm recording this and uh, I, today I realized there are some things that I wanted to add to the video. So the first thing that I wanted to add was the fact that for getting XP, there is another way to do it. If you have the recipe for enchanted lapis and you also have the recipe for something called the grand experience bottle, it's another good way to um, get XP. And so this, this is the uh, recipe right here. I'm actually going to make a couple of them right now. So these actually give you a lot of experience levels. Um, I'm at level 35 right now. I'm going to use one. Took me up to 46 there. And if you're at a lower level, it'll bring you up more. So it's it's really a um, nice way to get XP if you do happen to have a lot of lapis. And by the way, if you don't know how to make enchanted lapis, it's just like this. And then earlier in the video, I mentioned how going to the lapis mine was a good way to get XP, and it definitely is. But I've now been um, informed that going down to the obsidian mine is actually a good way to get XP as well. Now obviously, this is only something you're going to be able to do if you already have decent gear. Like if you already start your enchanting and you um, you have decent gear. If I, I'll show you what I have here now. So I have my full lapis set. Except now on, I've been working on my enchants since yesterday when I record the other part of the video. And I now have Prop 5 Growth 5 on my chest plate and Prop 5 Growth 5 Thorns 3 on my uh, leggings. And I just got those from level 48 enchants. I just put it, I just clicked it like, uh, like this in the enchant table until it told me it was going to give me Growth 5 because that was the main one I wanted. And then my sword here, um has a lot of enchants. I've been I had I put a lot of work into this one. Uh, a lot of grinding, but um, yeah, basically it does like a thousand damage to undead mobs. So yeah, it's <laughs> so I'm pretty good. I can so yeah, I'm pretty good. I can survive down here. Um, so I'm able to grind XP down here. So yeah, like I said, you're only going to want to grind XP here though if you're going to if you're going to be able to survive. Because these mobs are not easy. I still have to be careful because I still lose a lot of health here. So yeah, depending on what you want though, different levels of enchants are going to be better. Like I found that when I have, like there's an enchant that I wanted. It's called Vampirish 5 or it's something like that. And I wasn't finding it with the level 60 enchants, but I, did, I was seeing it with level 48 enchants. So sometimes you're going to have to experiment with different levels to test it out. And you're going to have to add or remove books to your... Um, enchantment table like I had it going all around for the level 60 but I had to remove some so it would give me level 48 enchants but yeah all right so I'm actually gonna do a live enchant here for you guys I'm gonna enchant either my boots or my helmet uh let me go for the helmet so I have 48 levels so what I'm looking for here is for this to say growth 5 because that's the main one I want if it gives me protection five as well, that's also that'll be great. Like those are the big, those are the two biggest enchantments I want right now. Um, like for my chest plate and my leggings, all I did was look for growth five, and then it gave me prop five as well, which was good. 
Oh yeah, and in case I didn't mention it, Growth 5 gives you 100 extra health per piece you have it on. So if you have a full set of Growth Armor, you'll have 400 extra health. Alright, I'm not having a lot of luck with my helmet here, so we're going to try my boots instead. But sometimes it does take a while to find the enchantment you want. <laughs> so you'll be sitting here just clicking it for a while. Here we go, Growth 5, finally. So here we go, here... We're hoping that we're going to get prop 5 with it. Alright, let's see. Come on. We did get prop 5, and we got a bunch of other ones. Feather Falling 5, Frostwalker 2, and Thorns 3. That's a really nice enchant right there. So now we have 475 health. Once we get that last growth 5 piece, we'll have 575 health, which is really useful. So yeah, that's gonna be about it for how to get enchants. Stop ruining my outro. You, you two, okay, come on. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be about it for how to get enchants on your armor. If you did find this useful, please. Okay, really, really. Please leave a like, and if you're new, hit that subscribe button or at least consider it. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.